Well, access to family physicians is a problem for 200,000 British Columbians. Practices have overflowing patients lists. Some can't take on any more. And today the province announced a pilot program it says will solve that problem within two years. Lisa Johnson now on how the GP for Me program works and what it will take to succeed. Go, buddy. When Ellie Anderson's family moved to White Rock, she knew it would be hard to find a family doctor. It was impossible. Every doctor was taken or full and unable to, to help us or the kids. But kids get sick. So she'd take her son Drew and his older sister to whatever walk-in clinic would see them. That changed about a year and a half ago when the Andersons found a GP. Oh, it helps tremendously, you know, when, especially when you've got children and aging parents. You need to have a doctor that's uh, close to home. The change wasn't just recruiting more family physicians to work in White Rock, although that did happen. Existing family doctors also started accepting more patients. They were able to because they got support to hire nurses, make their offices run more smoothly and even handle some patient consults on the phone. A lot were quite skeptical that it was even possible and now everyone's really pleased because it is rather demoralizing to have patients come to your practice, ask if you can take them on and have to say no. So as a community it just feels good to be able to say if you need a doctor, we can get you a doctor right now. Today the province announced it's taking what's been done here in White Rock, in Prince George and the Cowichan Valley, expanding those pilot programs to the entire province. That of course takes money, $132 million, at a time when the government's also trying to constrain ballooning health care costs. So the family doctor's part of a team, it saves money. So we are, yes, we're investing a substantial amount of money into this, but we really do believe that that bending of the cost curve, this is a critical part of it. The BC Medical Association is a partner on the project, but is currently in negotiations with the government and worries there won't be enough funding to support this and everything else. The initiative to be successful is going to have to have enough funding to back it. So far, the pilot projects have connected 9,000 patients with family doctors, but in B.C., there are an estimated 20 times that number still waiting. Lisa Johnson, CBC News, White Rock.